Roundabout Land, a gay go animate, in 2022. Do you even catch a break from those still ranting on this site and the entire community? Because people were barely talking about it. Alright, sit here, ladies and gentlemen. Let me tell you a very long story about the so-called go animate and Vlad through their origin story and what went wrong. Listen carefully. It was a very long time ago. GoAnimate was founded and created by a man named Alvin Hung, who that's it. He is a creative and professional man who works so hard, builds up for animation through drag and drop, makes characters, publishes on YouTube, and the list goes on. Many people don't know what the GoAnimate is, so they decide to try out and make video content, and it works. They thought GoAnimate was fun to use and understand what the GoAnimate looks like and entertaining videos back in the old days where grounded videos was never founded and stuck with GoAnimate for a while. GoAnimate was raised and peace with each other there is no heated argument, compliant, accepting criticism for their mistake or something, and even the first grounded videos were, in that case, that there is no invasion of raging kids that took over and didn't make child abuse videos and shit. That is one way GoAnimate used to be good. People hold their hands, make a better place for all of them, praised Alvin Hung for working so hard, an intriguing and inspired idea for a make video for kids, when it comes go animate or alternatively, beyond that renamed to program. Everything is normal, flawed, inspired, making people laugh, watch tutorial, blogging, and the series. Until one day. That's it. You are grounded, 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 grounded for two weeks. Good grounded, 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 grounded for a lemmasment, kicking you in your nuts. A bunch of raging kids and unoriginal grounded videos bullshit everything. Good lord. It pains me to make videos about the infamous violent and grounded videos. Violent is the most dated program on earth because people are filled with raging kids, unoriginal videos, dramas, etc., and they never stopped doing that. And it's never will just like that abomination website that I used to go there a lot. Vian is one of the biggest downfalls and ruined the site, no thanks to that bullshit. Regardless, I hate that site and I have zero intentions or any desire to come back to make a pointless video or something the way it is full of grounded videos. Even Plotigan, the one I used a lot, despite that shit, is taking the fuck over by violent brats. At least Plotigan has flaws and might be suitable for a nutshell, random videos, and stuff like this. As for Vian, it's fucking laughably bad. Vian is not that fun anymore and stopped being, since then the way it has bad updates, generic sites looking, ugly avatar design look, and lot not. Besides, it is filled with grounded videos, which is why many people quit making Vian videos due to too repetitive, irrelevant, child abuse and endangerment, and getting boring like you spend most of the time in the computer with no unique. Most of the time, those stuck with Vlad for years and still make grounded videos today and gain getting more and more views and underserved attention due to unoriginal videos. In case you don't know, grounded videos are that people ground their children for an extremely dumb and petty reason. It's just so boring, pointless, and uninteresting the way grounded videos used for and difficult to come up with different ideas. It's just how starving brain inconsistent that is grounded videos is so popular that many people, mainly on 12 years old kids, make videos for it, repeating and copying and pasting from other people's work. And it's never stopped making it with repetitive idea and shit in characters they don't like. Mainly the ones with kiddie shows and some unlikable, mean and villains characters out there who have pure hatred in them. Exactly how I feel about so-called film reactions memes that none of the shit is even funny or anything, just to put random picture and repeating same publish over and over again, and it's just won't stop. And unfortunately, film memes gain so much attention with a lot of views, saved botting, say generic comment of nice or accurate and blah blah blah, and it never recovers for it because of an original film memes. Pretty much it's a reason why both of the sites has caused tragic downfalls and made them quit using their respective website for an original content and I can't blame them for it. 
Both grounded videos and fill in memes are too repetitive. Use least favorite character for hate memes to prove how blind of hatred they were. Irrelevant. Copy and paste from other people's works, etc. I have already talked about the latter ones before. Let's not waste time talking about it, and the link sections will be put in the descriptions. Not to mention about a damn clean squad 2003, who got everyone to influence with grounded videos and became one of the obnoxious people who treat grounded videos like it's high superiors and get butt for when someone hates grounded video alongside violent. I'll talk about it much more at any minute, so I don't want to recycle, repeat myself, and linger. Another thing is that community is so toxic and impossible to find anyone who is the same fan without making repetitive grounded videos, punishment videos, feeding the trolls, or anything. Plus, filled with drama, a logger, destructive and critical criticism too. Not what I expected to say and more reminding, I remember some guy named Remy9909. The most infamous internet trolls, I can tell, if I recall people who were constantly feeding the trolls and treating him like he's villain situations and making bait videos with grounded videos out of him a million times. And there are few internet flame wars between him and Super Baxter. If I recall, both of them hated each other, wasted their precious time fighting each other, making hate videos for each other, and so on, with the help of their followers and shit. Okay, this is getting too long, so let's just cut some cheese. I have heard of Memi9909 before, and he was the most hated user with a bunch of grounded videos out of him and thought it was funny and made them feel better, even though that cost to cyberbullying and harassment and it's never funny. Granted, Memi9909 has a history of stealing other people content without asking permission in some sort. It's no secret that some video in him is still around alongside a collection of re-uploading of grounded video on Memi. Still, they aren't much better, because they feed the trolls 24 over 7 and have no idea what ignore means. Especially, when they are full-blown logging, destructive and critical criticism, and cyber stalkers themselves, so what can I say? Let's some break down, how I got here before and its origin story. I have known via Flash Go Anime for a long time and discovered a type of video, grounded videos, while browsing YouTube. Or something like that. It used to be my favorite program, when I was young and I thought it was gain interest, us making a video for entertainment, whether it was random videos or not and so on, for sports. And I thought grounded videos was funny and entertaining as well. But now, I hate it, I find Vian is fucking boring, lame, and pointless, as shit, and so does an original grounded video bullshit. I don't know why I have to remind you that I discovered that infamous site, and I ended up watching that terrible type of video and being influenced by a bunch of babies and overgrown man babies and woman babies at the same time. I'm glad I didn't bother to make shitty videos again and grow out of it, so don't bring that up and learn my lesson. That pretty much life of go animate flash land and some sort, but it is far from over, because I'm about to start ranting and reviewing. Right here, right now. I did talk shit about Go Animate Flashland in generals and grounded videos way back in time. I thought I had to remake it with growing to evolve despite having a long way to go and laughably consider that video is not that great but did some work, at least the first video I have uploaded. So, yeah, this might be my last big for rant wave one, if only I said that sooner and not sure why I didn't. But it for cause and deal with man children and woman children out there who over all being but for overgrown children I met in any social platform. I wish I could say something about the introduction, I ran out of the script and had no idea what I would say anything. With that out of my way, let's begin rant with combinate review shit. Of course, it might be a long ass topic about this website and the community. Welp, it looks like this is an origin story about this site, further ranting, so I'm gonna speed this up and make sure not to have recycled and repeat myself. GoAnimate Flashland is a cloud-based animated video creation platform and uses a program where they make their animation. At least, the creator has to create entertainment for his family and use it for fun. I mean, cool, it's GoAnimate, so what can I say? It is filled with a library containing tens of thousands of pre-animated assets, assets type, actions, templates, 
props, and all that crap. There is nothing too bad about it when the goal of making it easy to create short videos for business use. Right? Well, not really. It's lame, too basic, an animation error with extremely rushed and cheap looking stock animation. Just a generic and boring animation while looking cheap and such waste. In order to make a video, GoAnimate has video maker sections and create animations to do something creative and build the plot and some sort. For the sake of programming of GoAnimate, that is. And you know how to make animation for videos? Simple, by dragging and dropping bullshit. That it. It is just a simple step of dragging and dropping to make videos and shit. Us, it relies on using only mouse clicking and drags something to the screen and drops them through the BNG project or something. Seriously, it is nothing like that program called GoAnimate Flashland and made of Canva that they were working on a project on YouTube thumbnail or stuff like that. Because a drag and drop with looking Canva in PowerPoint fashion. What a letdown. If anyone considers program animation, that would be a good flash or plotagon or maybe strong normal. Something like that, although Adobe Flash is retired, so it's unlikely anyone would try to bring back a classic Flash game and stuff like that. But yeah, I could care less what everyone thinks, because GoAnimate is made of a drag and drop machine, and that is it. Nothing else. In fact, while it's a good idea to have text to speech voice, while making videos, it's king wasted, and there is no telling how to change the tone or anything, just a regular voice for the rest of the site. Each voice sounds like when someone has been smoking weed or marijuana all day and night long, for some part, at least. Not when shy girls, kiddaroos, wise guys voice sounds like when someone is throwing a tantrum over cancelling or ending their beloved cartoons for whatever reasons. And hell, Vixens, Duncans, and Lawrence's voice sound like an elderly old man or old ladies whatsoever. Tween girl sounds like an emo teenager who bitching and complaining about everything. French fry sounds like coughing old man or something. And even Chaos, Kimberly's, and Princesses sound like a teenager or overgrown adult spoiled brats who blame other people for their problem and some shit. Jeez, imagine, if someone comes to in real life, and people will find them annoying, as shit and stuff like that. Would you believe it? Especially like this? Here Robert. Here Robert. Back here Robert. Here Robert. Back here Robert. Back here Robert. Back here Robert. Back here Robert. Come back here Robert. Come back here Robert. Come back here. Yeah, these voices are not that great in the slightest. Don't help when you realize David. Evil Genius, and Zack's voices sound like it's exactly the same thing, for some reason. If they put Evil Genius and Zack's voice like this, get another program text to speech or change the tones rather than copy and paste David, but the way they put the same text to speech voice with them, it's so off-putting and weird. Too super weird, as shit, if you think about it. So, it's harder which voice they used for the project and no telling which one. Granted, it's also called Voice of Forge that makes kinda sense me used it for robotic text to speech for violent videos to make videos something, namely, when it comes to grounded videos, which I'll talk about next topic. Still, it tells me it's just wasted and pointless for those who sound like throwing a tantrum, confusion, etc. Good things some voices have changed, because what the fuck, bro? But that doesn't cut it anything, it's still weird, wasted and futile, as shit. No offense to those who enjoy voices like Vixen, Kayla, and some of them I mentioned, you get my point. I know there is recording voice through the mid and shit, but boy, I'm telling you, most of the violent users use the mid to scream my ears out, while grounding their kids and shit, especially like 12 years old or under. Jesus. Talk about off-putting and awkward. And yes, you can pin on me for using text-to-speech speaking or voice a lot and accuse me of lazy bum for not using real voice. Get this those who didn't know. I have no mic, first of all. So maybe that is why I used it the most when it comes to random or stuff like this. And second, I kind of sounded like a young teenager, or hell, kitty voice once I tried to use it. There is no telling what my voice looks like and people waste no time making fun of my voice like this. Even I'm 21 years old guy who takes little to no shit from anybody and blocks them from my channel or any media. Plus, 
I used my real voice once blogging. I didn't bother to upload the video for a reason and took it down on Dropbox. I am considering remaking how to make tutorial for a parody's sake with a chance to scream their ears out. But be very cautious, because people doubtfully handle eardrums, regardless of whether I talk like low, when it comes to talking to someone, and I'm tired of repeating myself. So yeah, I use text to voice speech the most, so I do not care what everyone thinks and throw slang at me like a butt man-child. But I might consider using my real voice for the first time in another time, so can't wait for you all what my voice looks like. Anyway, what eat me is that something has a tail copy of the same feature from any series and copyright material. Such as Comedy World is a tail copy of Family Guy with Hunting an American Dad and the Cleveland Show from Sir McFarland's work, and Thing in Bion is a tail copy of k etc. That bull anime flash by and lost copying and pasting from other people's work proves how plagiarism that shit is. I'm sure Vian Bratz tried defending their beloved non-business team like Comedy World that is used to have and flat out saying, but that is not a ripoff of fucking Family Guy, you bad users what piece of shit. Even though it's true that everyone sees it with their own eyes and has the right to pin it. I honestly imagine that Boeing May Flash Land is about to get sued by Fox and any company for copying and pasting their works without permission and got caught with plagiarism as punishment. Oh, the so-called comedy world animated look dull, boring, and ugly as hell, so you can't convince me otherwise. And let's not get started with some ugly looks from pre-made characters as well. Thank God that useless non-business team got exiled, since Legacy Video Maker retired, at least for Adobe Flash per se. If only they put up permanently retired without bringing so-called rapper offlines that people use Comedy World hack a tail copy of Family Guy that they used for grounded videos for countless times they make. All the non-business teams are pointless, tail copy, nothing alike, and query in the program. That is, my brand is a useless, futile, and wasted website. And speaking of grounded videos that I mentioned multiple times, Oh boy, Grounded Videos. What do I begin? Grounded Videos have been around for a long time, mainly in 2011. Or, the one in Lost 2009, who started it, but I don't think they likely made this video before, aside from this, before it Lost flooded everywhere in 2011. The most significant infamous type of video has an slowed, of repetitive, irrelevant, child abuse videos, especially, when it comes to punishment and assault videos, plagiarism by copying and pasting from other people's work, etc. And, oh boy, grounded videos are so unoriginal, and people ground their kids for an extremely dumb and flimsy reason for the littlest things I know. I mean, sure, it lost comedy purposes, because a lot of people make grounded videos for kids, but what is the point of being funny, whenever they ground their children for a random reason? It get worse, when teachers have a student put in detention or sent to the principal's office to deal with consequences for the littlest things. And even dead meat videos were there too. None of the videos are good and just painfully and funny as hell. I'm sure some people pin in Duan the IDN for making the first grounded videos, even she didn't say grounded, as you've already listened million times, but I don't care. It's a damn clean scum at 2003 who is the one to blame who ruined Bonnet's Flash Lion's reputation. He says it grounded like countless times and got everyone bad influence with obsession Bonnet grounded videos, copying and paste his work, and so on. Seriously, the guy is the reason why Vian Flash Go animate went down however, since and finds Vian is not fun anymore. Not even that dreadful community who got that influence who are so obsessed with no thanks to grounded videos and any unoriginal videos and lose their shit when someone say anything negative opinion. And it's never recovered for it. I'll talk about it later, so I don't have to recycle and repeat myself. Although it may be accurate on his first grounded video by scrolling around in class for a valid reason and some realistic video he has, at least it's better than most of the videos out there and before his grounded video out of preschool characters, I'll talk about it next topic to avoid repeating myself and shit. However, it's still painfully and funny. No matter what everyone thinks, including Vian Bratz themselves. In fact, 
The same guy who dragged this situation through grounded videos probably got a lot of people influenced by the way they joined the party and copied his work, even supposedly they make their own version. No offense to this guy, who is long gone and has never returned since July 3rd, 2017, the last video he uploads. But you get my points. Like I said before, parents ground children for a flimsy and petty reason that makes little to no sense. They ground them for getting fat at a restaurant, buying something at the stores, chewing gum in class, failing pop quizzes, tests, or exams, calling baby siblings or cousins stupid to their relative, running away from home, etc. And hell, they get grounded for fucking nothing. Just why bruh? Grounding kids for littlest things is just plain stupid as hell. Us, I can't even laugh for one bit, because for the sake of grounding bullshit, if you think about it. Imagine, if, in real life, the parent grounds their children like that for petty shit and listens to incompetent teachers or principals that they blame a student for something that has no big deal or nothing to do with it. They would be the most significant shitty parent in the world. Believe it or not. Sometimes they ground them for a valid reason, when they beat someone up, while minding their own business, got all F in the report cards, were rude to the teachers, etc. And sometimes, they ground them for petty shit. And I doubt they would be great parenting, if they meet the same fates, as Lion's grounded videos. Therefore, people were inimaginably put the high volume, like 100% and made everyone ear bleeding, when they yell at their kids. It gives people a horrible migraine the way they put text-to-speech high volume. Or worse, screaming too loud, while using a mic, especially kid voice. Like this. Jesus, did they really put high volume to ground someone with discipline? They should put a warning alert by turning the volume down just before making a video or during, it wouldn't end up deaf and destroy their brains. Or just unplug the headphones and turn them down, while at it. However, it's only for the sake of comedy purposes, and it's failed miserably with repetitive content around here, and it's impossible to make people laugh for this, while putting high volume and screaming and yelling crap. And the same goes for saying grounded multiple times that gave people a bad headache and wanted to bang their damn walls. Especially, when you already listen to say grounded like a million times. Grounded, grounded, one mil- Grounded, 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 grounded for three- Grounded, 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 grounded for three- Four thing. You are grounded, 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 until you did grounded, 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 grounded. You need to shut the fuck up! Jeez, the way they say grounded countless times is so annoying and puts me to sleep while I end up concussed because of repeatedly the same words grounded. They try it to be funny, but people misusing say grounded, grounded, grounded all over again and don't know how long they keep saying that. Just don't say grounded too many times that give people a terrible headache for this. I'm sure people don't say grounded too many times while punishing their children for something that happened, except petty and flimsy reasons in real life, that's for sure. And the best part about the grounded video is they ground their kids for like 1000 years and send their wounds. I have a question. How can someone live that long after getting grounded for a random reason? Because it's doubtful that anyone could survive and ends up passing away for a natural cause, or worse, child abuse by leaving them to starve to death and shit. Plus, they would end up and make it look like they were cutting school, whether or not they have them suspensions for a long time, unable to graduate from school or college, and so on. Both tack as parents and incompetent teachers have no clues what discipline means in by inverse. So, if I tried to calculate and predict, that would turn into a cyberpunk future of just about 3000, exactly like they did in future my as well as DSX series, cyberpunk 2077, and some of them. And then in 4000 that might as human population would have been reduced, apocalypse comes to light, mainly on alien invasion or something, destroy the city and so on. Not to mention, the fucking dinosaurs for millions of years have the chance to destroy the planet again through a solar system. So yeah, leave those comments below, if I'm wrong or anything. However, there is no telling what happened, so I'm sure what happens if someone grounded their children for a long time and impossible to survive in the future. And what else is the best part about grounded videos? 
Oh right, the fucking child abuse videos. Good grief. That typo video gives me holy water of my eyes and flat out says, What did I just watch? Child abuse is painfully and laughable and abominable to watch of how baffling the typo video is. I can't see they tried to entertain videos for the sake of black comedy and grounding, but Paro, what is entertainment about child abuse? Because assault and punishment videos contain to violent, gross content, disturbing, and so on, when it comes to grounded videos, believe it or not. I'm asking, because I don't see it. Some parents give children punishment by slapping their kids' faces, beating them up, using tools or not, vomiting on them, calling someone to help them to punish them, forced to watch something they ate for 24 hours or some shit, cutting their body parts, especially males' genital and the list goes on. That was fucking disturbing, cruel, and disgusting. There is no way they gonna be thrilled with dreadful assault and punishment videos and watch child abuse. Some people fight me and try to defend it by saying. But Ghost, the assault and punishment videos are not meant to be taken seriously and it's only fictional characters, so don't criticize me. I'm sorry to be bunk you real good, but child abuse is child abuse, no matter what you think, whether it's from fictional or real, and even try it to be funny with black comedy tones with fucked up video they have. Just like people try to defend child porn and throw fictional cards to cover their asses and prove themselves pedo apologists, whenever they got called out for drawing rule 34 or fetishes with fat, inflations, scat, etc. in minors. If you ask me, the assault and punishment videos are fucking horrendous, as shit and very unbearable to watch. I don't understand why that shit is so popular with multiples like videos, most views, and compliant comments. Whether or not a combination of grounded videos bullshit that they came to watch it for, once again, for the sake of grounding and black comedy purposes. I wanted to talk about it further, but that might be spent the entire time repeating myself, so allow me to talk about something else quickly. There is more in original and repetitive as well, as I said earlier. The dead meat videos, go rants, air videos, back videos, hack dead videos and never brought up again that I have seen it before, etc. Neither of them is better, and neither of them is funny too. So yeah, that is, how violent has a bunch of pointless, useless, unoriginal, irrelevant, and repetitive content. It's very difficult to find non-grounded videos or anything once you look up bro anime flash violent in YouTube and couldn't find it anywhere. It is said how grounded videos and any useless and pointless videos got a lot of attention and popularity nowadays. And people spend time watching that video all the time. I even used to like grounded videos back then, as I said, and now it's bad, and I find it bland, as shit. But at least, grounded video is kinda funny, us so bad, it's good status quo. Unlike that dog shit filled in reaction memes in DeviantArt and sometimes the rest of the social platform. Let's talk about the infamous little kids show alongside unlikable and villains characters in Grounded Video's extension, so that way I don't have to repeat myself and recycle script. Okay, listen. I don't have any against parody videos when it comes to making a video like this. Mainly on this program, Aja, Blotigan, and so on. For random videos, in a nutshell, and any type of video for comedy purposes. Even for grounded videos, although painfully and funny with crappy child abuse videos. However, as the GoAnimate Flash Lion community goes, most of them have a deep hatred of preschool showing treated like serial killers are on the loose. I don't get how that shit is so popular where preschool characters get grounded and sometimes unlikable and villains characters, all, because they do bad things or something terrible happened to their beloved characters, whether but monkey or not, and thoughts they made them feel better. Well, I don't, because that gonna be a waste of time and it's futile to make an unlikable or evil character go away, and you hate it when someone gets away scot-free and leave beloved characters who get blamed instead of troublemakers. Exactly how someone makes but for tape thick or something to make them feel better which city running away thick, and I kinda hate it. Wait, actually, I do hate it because of whiny cartoon abuse who love doing that, those who has precious characters get blamed in and make cringe worthy revenge shit and... Fucking Vader walking into a ship and slicing motherfuckers left and right like it's butter-
Yeah, sometimes, they couldn't handle it and spent most of the time complaining, bashing on pity shows, unlikable, and villainous characters with a shitload of grounded videos, violent videos, and all that stuff. The most targeted preschool characters getting grounded are Kalau, Dora the Explorer, Peppa Pig, Arthur Weed, Sid the Science Kid, Little Bill, etc. that people use a lot. And sometimes the use unlikable and villains characters get grounded for entertainment, act a deep hatred toward each character. Such as Courtney from Total Drama, Coop from Kid vs. Cats, Plankton from SpongeBob SquarePants, Devious Diesel from Thomas the Train Engine, Lin Loud JR from The Loud House, which I'm going to talk about this infamous and obnoxious characters in another time, because she deserves to be pin on an origin story, and some of them. So there, that is what all violent community does to preschool, unlikable, and villains characters. Also, some characters look nothing alike based on characters, and it looks horrendous, lame, and it just looks ugly as usual. At least, k -Lau claims that the yellow shirt is misleading for some reason. Even though he's been wearing a yellow shirt during the modern episode the way he was wearing gray in the earliest season. Pardon those who got so offended for bad mouthing nothing comparison and tried their best to accurate. But you get my point. And they not here for giggles and parody way, but they came here and wanted to make them look bad and endlessly bash on a least favorite show to no end. And it's made me roll my eyes through their blinded hatred in their least favorite characters. It doesn't help when that shit ruins other people's childhood, whether or not they watched their show when they were young and made them start dating on grounded videos. I have no clue who started grounded videos on preschool or any non-preschool character, us probably around 2013 or something. But, again, it's all some guy named Adam Klinskman 2003, who is the one to blame. I know it's bad enough that grounded videos cause people to turn against his beloved side and him, regardless it is kinda realistic. But grounded videos out of Dora the Explorer are off-putting, unfunny, and terribly insufficient. This is one way memorable, and thoughts it lost to create it like it's professional for the sake of parody videos and shit. With undeserved attention like thousand to million views of getting grounded out on preschool or mean character out of pure hatred. Am I right? No, just like that, I don't find it funny all over repetitive content, overused, unoriginal, and disturbing content, when it comes to child abuse videos. Poor people who watch that preschool series and, again, ruined their childhood by violent brats who made grounded videos out of character, when they were kids. I remember, that one video of k -Lau joins the circus parody made by the infamous African vulture, the controversial user, who is the most hated for a controversial reason, regardless of how many subscribers she just has and I'm going to talk about her later. Where k -Lau wanted to join the circus only to be halted by Boris that circus isn't until tomorrow, then he ended up throwing a temper tantrum and swearing a lot, then Boris told him to pipe down and help him to make breakfast. And the last straw is that k -Lau threw a fuss at them and k -Lau's dad had it enough with that bullshit and ground him, leaving him to turn into complete miserable hissy fit brats. At the same time, the rest of his family feels satisfied and happy that k -Lau is not invited while grounded. Now, does that make me feel better and more fitable than the original ones? Oh. The Go Animate Flash Violent version isn't much better. Not when people decide to copy and paste from African Vulture's idea in her work, us pulling inspired to make it look like they are based on something to avoid backlash or anything. Therefore, each grounded out of them between preschool, unlikable, and evil characters is even unfunnier as usual. Especially villains, whether or not they have no idea they can have their moment by redeeming characters and flash their qualities and sometimes anti-villains. Even complete monsters tropes we love to hate status quote. And don't forget about unrelated to paranormal grounded videos that I doubt it's fitable and probably never shown in canon series. Even it's made of often sometimes too inaccurate that based on. It makes no sense how each character called k and Rosie's brother and sisters with misspelled words. There is nothing like that character based on and has no clue how to make a fictional character right and have them add Ox character to have addition sibling, cousins or any family members or something like that. It's fine to have put Ox characters for the sake of Ed Canadian shit, but yeah, it felt random and useless Ox characters which came out nowhere with flat personality per se. 
Well, I already tell they give zero personality Ox character to to grounded videos and put up comedy purposes and that it. Nothing else here. I don't need to sound complaining about something a bit further, but honestly, grounded videos on preschool, villains, or even unlikable characters are painfully dull and stuck in hell with flooded everywhere like it's wildfire and there is nothing I can enjoy. It's no secret that they have put origin stories articles about them on Wikipedia and TV tropes as well. I can sympathize with those who tried to enjoy and quit making violent videos because of an original videos and the entire community. So, I doubt I got anything to say about infamous preschools, villains, and unlikable characters that Bion has deep hatred in each character like it's serious disasters. If I did, that might have me recycle and repeat myself. So, it's time to move on to different topics. Well, I never thought I'd decide to talk about the infamous movie fan made, and it's just there. Reminding how baffled and poor executions go with fan-made movies like another infamous fan-made movie gives me a bad memory. However, other than that, go animate the movie well deserves to pin on him no telling when how long talking this topic, but I can not have to, believe it or not. Go animate the movie was released in 2013. Don't listen to that slander article and Google, because it's never found it until a year later, which I'll talk about any minute. That movie was so popular with many views and many likes videos sections. I don't get how that shit is so popular despite the problem with the movie and shit. Well, at first, I thought it was really intriguing that someone makes fan made movie film and thought to make creative ideas to build movie projects to entertain people. Okay, cool. It seems they got someone in their mind to come up with something inspired based on reference, element, or anything. I mean, come on, I thought it makes anyone enjoyable, as long, as they work so hard to build movie project purpose. And nothing can get too cringy, and anything bad happens. Then go animate the movie was all about how PC guy takes a toy he wants from Walmart without paying for it. Eric and Victor try to take the toy away from him so he can get prosecuted, while PC guy tries to stop them and restore his reputation. Okay, maybe that sounds like a rehash from the so-called Greeny Fathom the movie and that shit looks abomination, animated, and doesn't look like cartoons. But perhaps it could do it for a different route as the long, not to cut over all plagiarism or anything, and then the movie should keep things enjoyable. Then the movie premiere, and the more film goes and lot is inconsistent turns out to be. Boring! The rest of the movie is really boring and lame, as fuck. I'm not kidding when I say that. Go animate the movie has so much queer and lazy editing, the random plot twisted out of nowhere, etc. It makes no sense that it doesn't tell a story properly, it is too predictable, repeating itself like countless times, running the same scene over and over again, making the same mistake over and again and listening to the lesson over and over again. All the crap. It's just fucking off-putting. And I'm not gonna lie that Eric, PC guy, and Victor have to be the worst protagonist in history. They are all so boring, cliché personalities, and it's very uninteresting. They are all awful, as shit. Don't tell PC guy is too unlikable and repeating the same mistake countless times and makes him look like he's a generic troublemaker teenager's personality. And so do Eric and Victor themselves at the same time. I can't even look at that Mr. Keebler, the wise guy agent book looking, how baffled and makes zero sense how things go with Keebler. None of the plan, motivations, morals, or anything that seems interesting looks nothing alike with Satan forms and, typically, the generic goodly tissues we cast cartoon villains. Not even he is kind of whiny and completely flat, so that's all I have to say about him, with good looking generic and boring villains for the rest of the film. Oh, that fight scene is pretty lame and terrible, and it didn't let us see what the fight looks like with the crappy censored. Like, look at this. Don't you see how baffled, stupid, and waste of time that editing goes? Cause it censored the entire fight scene out of nowhere, finished him off with Kamadamia prop, and beat him up in retaliation. Sheesh, talk about the lazy editing, believe it or not, for the sake of either rated G or RPG for some reason. I honestly don't care much for every character that is to flat, dull personality, stereotyping, or even background characters. 
Everything in the Go Animate the Movie has a shitload of the recycled script, annoyance including repeating the same word all over again, plot holes, nonsense, boring, and terrible and lazy editing. It's just how baffled that is. It's like the Loud House movie is filled with terrible writing, too predictable, attention-seeking plot, boring villains that I don't give a shit that woman named Morag, and all that bullshit. I know that long before it came out in mid-late August 2021, something well deserved to be pointed out. While some fanbrits out there tried to fight me and defend that awful movie and act like it's the best movie with a lot of bad writing and boring movie, even I considered it a mediocre film. Both have a solid common, despite the difference with different animation and no censorship fight scene during the battle in the latter, unlike Go Animate the Movie. And what bewildered me more is that Go Animate the Movie is a cesspool of made up lies with based articles and shit. Look, I get that it's a fan made movie that people use it for giggles, fun, and so on, as they did with the Sprite series, Stickman, and some sort. I get that and no one should take it seriously when it comes to fan made. However, that doesn't good enough the way they thought it was a good idea to make up lies about it, and none of the shit was even brought up or anything. Such, as, they claim it was released in 2006, even though that shit has never existed until next year. So, I don't see it, and it was released in 2013, someone must make up a lie and try to deny it to think Go Animate was founded in 2006 and can't be bothered to do any research. And then they claim some of the characters voiced by the celebrities and think they were actually voicing them. But again, I don't see it, and I don't hear any celebrities voice acting. Neither of them even bother trying to intimidate the voice based on celebrities, especially Tom Kenny, who voices SpongeBob SquarePants and certain roles he voices. Just to rely on Go Animate Flash Lion voices for the rest of the films. That just proves that they are too lazy to try to intimidate voicing and edit it, since they use robotic voice, and I don't like it. And once again, it's due to fan made for that shit. I forgot to mention they also say that the Adventure Time toy came out in 2006 as well. Here, if I recall, they actually claim that Finn Toy is coming 2006, just like they think Go Animate was founded in 2006. It's no fucking sense that the Adventure Times toy actually comes out sometimes from 2011, 2013. And that was way before Adventure Times aired 2010 and ended in 2018. It's so off-putting. Everything has bad editing, poor research, terrible fight, and everything is horrible. As I said earlier, Go Animate the Movie is made of rehash screen if Adam the Movie, and I don't get how it's considered remade, even though the entire film is a completely pale copy. But whatever, it's just there, and that is it, I guess. In addition, they were originally about to make the sequel Go Animate the Movie to think they tried to intriguing and doubtfully, they try and put other people to sleep and hard to impress with this bland movie. But it's never brought up again and ended up a cancelled movie for like two times, and then they tried to make more movie for the sake of entertainment. But I digress, there is no telling they are still going to make a movie, while building a project, but it's most likely never brought up again and never saw a day, just spend time cancelling movie or something, because of update. So, yeah, the only movie I like is about, where it spends most of the listening to music. I admit that music is jammy jam and chill vibe, just like the SoundCloud with Wolfy, chill music, trap remix, etc. I can enjoy it with the chill vibe music they put in. See, the music is so good and only redeeming qualities. Nothing else I can think of. I have nothing else to say about Go Animate the Movie. And oh boy, the thing is to get real wicks and most of the time bash and harass harmless person the way Go Animate community rash at none other than Alvin Hung. Good grief. I can even barely look at how whiny, fussy, and raging kids in the past years. I don't know if they still hold it against Elvin Hung, and the entire company does this just because of update bullshit. 
Sheesh, talk about petty, as shit, if you think about it. Before discussing Blood Rat's patch on the harmless company and some sort, let's have a quick breakdown about Elden Hung. The guy who owned GoAnimate and worked so hard for years that he founded GoAnimate and built lot lot best for everyone. To make it long story short, Alvin Hunt took double majors in economics and computer programming at Columbia University once he enrolled. Afterward, he went to work for Oracle Incorporated to create GoAnimate and make his default character based on his looks. He seems to be a genuinely nice guy who handles receptions and criticism for the most part. Until one day, he destroyed GoAnimate to trigger the entire community and went after him alongside his minions. Here, that's how it goes. And pardon me for biased articles or something, because I don't know if it is actually true about his personal life of Alvin Hung. Because that is pretty much all it got right now, and unlikely anyone tried to update or something in a crappy pale copy of wiki sites. Alvin Hung is one of the most hated founders and declared to be a status quo of worse than Hitler to certain violent flash go animate stands the way they randomly make eight videos out of him with terrible rants of go rant style, user videos, grounded videos, all that shitty stuff. Just why? All, because of, again, updating stuff. Such as removing your beloved old voice and replacing new ones, changing the color's palette, or something. That is just stupid and pathetic in sheer agony. You know what I'm getting, right? And speaking of updating, I remember Alvin Hung, along with one of the companies got mass pinned in and cost them to hate them. For littlest things and pettiest funks. It's not because of ridiculous updates, as much as I didn't enjoy the new update and layout when it comes to bad stuff, which I'm not going to bother to talk about it. It's because Alvin Hung and the company ruined the violent site and treated harmless staff like it's the end of the world. Never mind, this end the entire time's flame wars with the logging, used criticism as an excuse, unoriginal videos, etc. So they are the ones who ruined that site on their own. Here is the stuff he used to have but now either replaced or removed and permanently never coming back. They have to remove the Street Fighter theme, Teen Titans, etc. on Community Library to prevent suit by the company for copyright materials, replace color palette that is more useful than old ones considering copying colors, remove GoPro, remove Facebook login to prevent hackers and bot came out of nowhere to ruin their Facebook account, old text to speech and music got exiled and replacing new ones, etc and infamously, removing comments, favorites, messages, and the following sections. As you see here, that's the one with the list right now. And that pretty much how do animate community even more toxic. Aside, it's not like this is the end of the world over the updating and layout shit. Whether you like it or not, all this stuff has come to an end, and you have to accept that Elvin Hung and the company has to make updates and changes to the websites. Even Alvin Hung was intriguing that he taught them how to use it and should be thankful for and understand why he has to do it with the help of his company. Even Alvin Hung was confident of how he was best for Vian and the community, and they should accept it, move on and try out to see what it looks like. That's how dynamic is better that way, but no. Instead, they keep complaining, bitching, throwing hissy fits, and even endlessly harassing them, us proving themselves ungrateful little fucks. Then what I remember is that I have seen people make a violent video in Alvin Hung and people are getting excited that someone is about to die for a natural cause or executions and celebrate someone dying. Just imagine when parents raise them awfully, as mentioned, and make them bad influence and blame no one but themselves for not taking good care of their children. And let them do violent stuff, misbehaving on social platforms and shit, so parenting should take to parent class to know how to raise children. Like how Danjiro's family from Demon Slayer were raised and kind with loves just before got killed by the bad guy, so the main protagonist tends to protect his only survivor's sisters, who turn into demon, find the cure, and kill the guy named Muse and Kibatsuji to avenge his family. Someday and that pretty much, I got to say that those who only watch him didn't read the manga because of spoilers. So there, the violent community just don't fucking handle it and couldn't shake it off their pure hatred of Alvin Hung and his team. I even used to pity and blame him for terrible updates and shit, but then I realized Alvin Hung does this for good causes who had it enough with people creating chaos, drama, flame wars, and shit. 
So it's not unwarranted he removes comments, favorites, messages, and following. And even announcement, us unlikely they will bring back just to waste their precious time to endlessly harass them. And I'm actually glad that tail copy of Family Guy's looking exiled from the Bion theme, but if only so-called rapper offlines should not be brought up. And some reason, that thing is still here, and good rats desperately tried to bring back Family Guy's looking. Not to mention, I heard the movies about Elvin Hung and the Gothics the movie, which truly describes how they reacted when Elvin Hung updated the features back then. Aside from the title that I find too offensive, while talking, it's about Elvin is about to update the attribute in well-intended extremist. At the same time, GoBrats tried to stop him from ruining their precious Go animate and turn it into future animate. I know the owner of this video got exiled for the reason and realized Alvin Hung is not actually poor that he is rich somehow, believe it or not, and find that shit pointless and dog shit. However, some people managed to re-upload, and everyone watches this cringeworthy movie that people can look at and is baffled that terrible film go. But not it's not too terrible as the infamous go animate the movie. I used to think Elvin Hung is poor just because of updating or something, but again, I realize he is not that poor. He's actually the rich guy the entire time. I don't know why, but he was the one who owned Go Animate in the first place and updated for his good causes and did not want to get sued by copyright material out there to keep his program site safe. You know, if I keep going on and in, it's taking too long, and I need to move on to the topic. At least, I don't want to repeat myself like you're already listening a million times. Thank you. This may be quick that GoAnimate has taken over other programs and ruined by GoDraps through an original grounded videos and all that crap. Something they still haven't gotten over deep hatred in Alvin Hunt or anyone for bad updates, per se. Speaking of which, since the GoAnimate flash by an update incident due to removing comment, favorite, message, and following, rumors that site is about to shut down in any kind of sort, they have to move to another program that they were using. And the ones with alternative programs were Plotigan, Stranormal Akinumo, Movistorm, etc. The way people were used for random videos for shit and never make grounded videos. Until the updates and rumors about Bion are shutting down, which is never saw it or brought up again and took over the entire program. I'm not kidding that Bion stands take over the alternative program and spend most of the time making an original grounded videos, assault and punishment videos, etc. Us, they made them ditch alternative programs without hesitations, no thanks to Obsession Boner Bion and grounded videos stands who are so desperately trying to find it. I have seen that violent users use Plotigan for grounded videos just to entertainment with child abuse videos when it comes to assault and punishment videos that outright find disturbing and unfunny as shit and meet the same fates as violent. Yep, I did make Plotigan videos in the first place and people would accuse and blame me for it, but get this, in case you didn't know. I have no plan or desire to make pointless and crappy grounded videos or anything unoriginal that I find painfully and funny. So, it's not that much entertainment ever, since. Because that shit is way too repetitive, irrelevant, disturbing content when that involved child abuse videos, and the list goes on. I do make blogging videos for the sake of nutshell videos, reacted videos, not the one with reaction videos who watch the show or something and commentate combined, and parody videos, and even random videos too, which I'll figure something out lot to do with it, and you get my points. Although it only has two characters of times, I wish they could add more character other than bringing the rest of the people in scene options. People on by and stands take over Plotigan and make grounded videos and repetitive content like you're already seen the video a million times. They do this to certain kitty shows, including Kalau, because again, they have a deep hatred of him and refuse to shake off their pure hatred and still bash him to the ground. I mean, it makes sense Kalau is a spoiled brat who couldn't get what he wanted and can't fucking handle it. At least, in one episode. Still, it doesn't make any better, just like someone makes terrible hate art or hate fanfic out of least favorite characters in pure hatred and waited for them to die or something to make them feel better. 
It's no secret that the so-called annoying t-shirt has come to light on Plotigan, so that people use this shirt based on K-Law viewers and getting really excited about this. They must be Plotigan staff doing by pandering to grounded videos makers and deciding to make annoying t-shirts based on k Lau's shirt to satisfy them and still make grounded videos today. Plot and overkill they dragged into this mess that Brian Bratz took over Plotigan. It is kind of sad those who despise Alvin Hung and the entire company who work with Brian and treat them like they are serial killers in the loose and blame them for ruining it that they move to Plotigan in any alternative program. If Alvin Hung hasn't updated by removing comments, favorites, messages, following, and whatever, Brian stands themselves waste time endlessly harassing them, flame wars, spy following just to keep stalking on them, etc. Us, they never made grounded video on alternative instead. If anything, Brian would just keep growing with grounded videos and ruin their reputation because of obsession boners grounded videos bullshit. Again, I feel sorry for those who use Plotigan and are ruined by Brian stands, who come out of nowhere, take over the websites and have most of the people that influence and waste the same videos, same idea, and repetitive, us take another level of Brian. And that is not just the problem with Brian and grounded videos, because oh boy, this is certainly what I'm going to talk about and final opinion point on. The entire community. Holy fucking shit. The Bion community has to be the most toxic on earth, surrounded by raging kids, overgrown teenagers, or worse, overgrown man-children and woman-children. People who have been using Bion and stuck with this program for years must spend a lot of time making grounded videos, dead meat videos, assault and punishment videos, and so on. So, people are already obsessed with it and constantly repeat the same idea, same shit, multiple times and never stop doing that, when it comes to grounding. Consequently, they treat Vian like it's high superiors and act like Vian is the best website in the world. I don't know why that shit is obsessed with Vian and came here to watch grounded videos and make the shit all over again with copying and pasting videos they made. Sheesh, not like people are so desperate to copy their works through their homework or quiz and try to make themselves look good and catch attention for the sake of videos with grounding. Oh, if you even dare to say Bion is a terrible program or anything express negative thoughts in grounded videos and any in original videos, they will block you, false flag you, send their white knighting to come steal with you, harass you, make grounded videos out of you, etc. Since most of the community is full of aladoxophobia and treats them like they are the bad guy in terrible situations. Even they tend to send grounded threats and try to be cool and funny. What, are you my mother, father, guardians, or something? Cause violent brats are not their parents just to lash at them and pin in them for something happened. It's such random and childish threats. I swear the Vian community must be watching grounded videos on Vian and sometimes Plotigan several times and thought it was a good idea to ground them and it's never affected anything, so why the fuck they try to ground someone that they are not their parents? That doesn't make fucking sense. The thing about the entire community is that they put channel rules and expect them to follow their rules as long as they are good behavior and willing to block them out of the blue for breaking their rules. It is so random, as shit. Expect them to follow their rules, while they did the same thing. How stupid can it be with feudal channel rules? The stuff channel rules saying no fans or haters of certain media allowed, no trolling or internet trolls allowed, no rude comment, only nice comments, and all that bullshit. The channel rules are hilariously lame. Given by and brats were either immune to handling criticism, calidoxophobia when someone didn't agree with their opinions, rightfully pinned in their logger or something, stuff like that. Talk about stupid rules that people expect them to follow. Otherwise, lose their shit when people broke the rules blocked them and play the victim cards to save their sorry asses. And then it gets really annoying with generic good users and bad users termed shenanigans. The whole generic terms are so overused, useless, annoying, and gibberish the way they treat good users and bad users like real things. Let's say that Vian Bratz that they call you good users is the long, you love Vian with a passion alongside hate all kitty shows, love the most overhyped and overrated cartoons like The Loud House alongside Boring Spin-Off, which the latter got cancelled after third season. 
I'm glad they cancelled it, because it is so unnecessary, ship culture purposes and cash grabbers with the Cleveland show wanted. And anything with good deeds and ignores their controversial crisis with the victim card may pull and blinded white knighting their beloved users. Unless you did something bad stuff, they call you bad users, just because hating their precious program, loves kitty show, hate any good users for controversial and valid reasons, etc. Talk about fucking random. Not even they go other routes with another generic term of mature users and immature users, innocent users and toxic users, true fans, and toxic fans, etc. That they waste no time abusing the words like countless times and violent stands or contradicting themselves. It's getting super ironic that they claim they are against toxic users, but they were exactly the same with rape videos, slandering someone, after they got exposed for their true colors, sending their white knight to any lash by doxxing someone's, etc. Just imagine they are manipulating people to think good users from believers are good people despite their controversial crisis with the logging, unoriginal content, and some shit. While treating bad users claimers are serial killers in the loose for a pin in their precious user they love. Since they are a too horrible judge of in real life people and being blinded white knighting and called them bad users for bullying and harass their beloved users, even though good users bullshit are no better when hate videos and shit they have. Oh, even non-violent users, just throw generic good users and bad users terms just to shit on them, see each other, as good users and try to make them cool and see their head banner, as bad users wing a loggish, but for tape memes, and some shit to make them feel better. Don't look at me like that. I'm talking about you during this video, and it's utterly your fault that you dragged into this mess with the logging shenanigans, how you reacted in abominable websites and more inconsistent you turned out to me. I ran on you once. And now I'm considering ranting on you with evidence for your stupidity and shit. At least, for the second time, but let's do it another time. So get this. The whole good users and bad users terms shenanigans don't exist that there are no such things as like it's superheroes and supervillains in real life. It's just there, people in the internet minding their own business, browsing the internet, and so on. So, neither of them should treat good users and bad users like it's real things. And that is the problem since most people, either violent stands or just a logger, with lazy and unoriginal filled in memes and shit, keep abusing the generic word good users and bad users terms and make them sound like violent stands overall. I don't understand why they treat it as such an act like it's superheroes and supervillains exist in fucking 2022. It's fucking sad, if you ask me. I can't even look at people constantly misusing terms of criminal that people randomly called them that for littlest things or harmless stuff. Sure, some people are caught groomers with minors, cybercrim including dox someone's personal information by revealing their home address, etc. But did they randomly call them criminal that not do anything inappropriate? That's so appalling. It's like the fucking cancel culture that loves to blame random people for no reason that they even don't do anything. Such, as, let's say that I heard people were shit on the creator of Demon Slayer for making Mizuko Kamado sexualizing minors, even though it's awakening forms and people waste their breath and balls to call out for it. Never mind that they are completely fine with the infamous cuties and it's an awful spin-off. With the combination of western animation child porn, either rule 34 or just fetishes in minors for shit and get buttfurt, when they pin on their beloved Netflix's film and fucked up artwork. It is double standard and weird as fuck. Calling them criminal for pettiest and generic shit is only childish ways to pin in with a logger, harassment, and whatnot. Don't help some folks make hate videos rather than just exposing them for something bad happens. Us, people agree with them and say they deserve to die, can't take criticism cards, nice rants, and so. Whenever they make hate videos like that, they shouldn't use call out as an excuse and try to make them look cool, edgy, or mature by flash gallons. It makes them childish, immature, and of course, a logger. I know some users out there fight me with this and say, but sir, they are fucking criminal, and it's not bullying and harassment, it's calling them out and we can make hate videos the fuck we want because they deserve to get pinned in and its criticism purposes, so get your facts straight, brain idiots. 
I'm sorry to say, but none of the crap is constructive criticism. When you make butts for tape videos rather than just ordinary, expose videos and rightfully to pin on them. If you wanted to call them criminal, you need to be convicted for evidence first, before you flat out call them. Make sure to expose someone who either caught child porn pictures, fictional or real, threatened to take someone's life and their loved ones with doxxing individuals, or anything of that. But the way they pinned him in and randomly called them criminal makes no sense to criticize their stupidity, logging, and all this stuff in the littlest way technique. I hope people don't keep abusing the words criminal in generic ways, just like bullshit generic good users and bad users nonsense. In addition, most of the violence stands out there are already hated enough being whiny, unable to take criticism or acknowledge, using opinion as facts, etc., and worship grounded videos a lot. But honestly, someone has already reached a limit and made them lose respect for them and never grow from their mistakes or anything, us considerably beyond reasonable. They tried to change, but they kept failing and falling apart when actively getting worse and worse. And, unfortunately, it's never recovered and never learned from it. Including African Vulture, I never watched her content for a long time and distance because of an original grounded videos I don't like, but sheesh. I have heard of African Vulture's controversial crisis back then, and now that she is unable to handle criticism, playing victim cards, whenever she got pinned in, and all this stuff. Especially I heard she treats constructive criticism like it's criminal and claims to be illegal. Like what is this? It's against the law and calls police to have me and some people arrested for harsh criticism. Damn, that woman can't take criticism when it comes pinned in and try to defend herself when the victim card she pulls. I don't know what happened, but Jesus, you should realize criticism is not equal to bullying and harassment nonsense. Like, how they throw criticism cards with great videos or anything rash on there and use it as an excuse that contains harassment over us all. She deleted her post, of course, but someone already screens captured it and called her out for unnecessary but for posts for saying the criticism is illegal. Even if she claims to be a joke, none of them took as a joke the way she talks like that, and she is unable to handle criticism. I could say the same thing about the whole incident with Ray Cynical. Yes, I heard Ray Cynical isn't much better when he has a history of publishing child porn before and tons of backlash. Even he was tried to learn from his mistakes. I can see he got mass backlashes and pinned in him for publishing child porn, and that is just disgusting for what he did. But unfortunately, African Vulture is no better, since it is the hell of a logger, where she endlessly harasses him, sends her a white knight to go after him, and tends to do anything stupid by trying to reveal their personal information or something. Don't help when African Vulture and her follower make hate videos on him, accused of defending that criminals despite she and her followers celebrating someone closing his account and probably passed away of natural causes. Believe it or not, they wanted them dead. I'm convinced that African Vulture and her white knighting nowadays love to gain other people's attention by feeding the trolls and allotting that people cause enough troubles and can't fucking handle criticism or anything and waste time playing the victim cards. The more inconsistent she turned out to me, I'll considerably she became the most dated user, regardless of how many subscribers she has, as mentioned before, and damage is already done. And another example that Vian stands even more hated as usual due to their inconsistent they become, longst, troll feeding, a logger, etc. with the infamous users Caleb the Animator, Al Ryan, Trent Morrison, and even Ines Thomas. All four of them are not even active, and neither of them makes videos that much, but I don't care. They well deserve to be mentioned for the sake of the videos, as an exemplified. If you haven't heard of Caleb the Animator for a long time, allow me to story about him. He is an infamous go animate user who makes terrible grounded videos alongside his back videos and shit and created his characters, Flutterfy Rill and Princess Matilda. He treats his creations like real people and acts like they will return feelings to him, despite their fictional. I don't get why Caleb the animator treats them like they are married to him that he created fictional characters in the first place. And then I remember that Caleb the Animator bashed other people's opinion who hates Frozen and its sequel that he is full-blown gala keeping and tried to defend his movies. He goes far as to block them out of the blue, proving he cannot handle different opinions and tend to play the victim card to cover up his ass. 
he does learn to respect the opinion, eventually, but if I recall, he immediately lashed at them and blocked them, for having a different opinion, showing he hasn't learned his lesson and contradicted himself. It's no secret that he is exposed as pedophilia and zophilia, which I don't know if it's true, but if he did, then bam. Caleb the man-child should be locked up in prison and deal with worse punishment because of the groomer in minors and his crime. Seriously, Caleb the animator is beyond reasonable and he'll still do naughty stuff, not when he is exposed as groomers and shit, so yeah. Another for Orion, I don't know if that guy is still around, but oh jeez. Well Ryan has to be the biggest man-child in Earth, considering his unhealthy obsession boner sky from Total Drama alongside his terrible crossover ship boomboxer from Paper Mario and thoughts he finds them a suitable and cute couple. Which is far from it, first of all, and makes little to no sense to have pair boomboxer with Sky. Sure, it makes sense, when you see a cringe relationship between Sky and Dave, and the latter spends most of the time whiny, but for kids and really uninteresting. Like, you already had it enough with Dave's winningness and good-looking Casanova wanted and wanted to bang on your wall or desk out of annoyance. <laughs> um, Dave? You okay? <laughs> well, I don't need you either! I'm a lone wolf! Oh! Oh! I like getting in touch! <clears throat> Fire! Lane! Ah! That was the butt? But I have a boyfriend? A boyfriend? Hey, you, I don't care! However, Sky and Boomboxer pairing are no better and just a cringe-worthy crossover pairing. I don't get how and why this pairing is cute and some sort. Because it's healthy, cute fanart, or whatever, however, that pairing makes no sense and it's plain awful as hell. In fact, Al Ryan even cheated and rigged the games in characters eliminations and threw a spastic hissy fit when his beloved Sky got eliminated, us flat out saying, it makes me sad. Just why, so you can be desperately cheating the entire game and making valid excuses which screw the rules, I make them to prove your fucking point that your beloved wins every single Sky for the rest of the videos. It's no wonder why people like him have desperately rid the game for the rest of the videos and cheated in purpose. Us, they decide not to do character eliminations anymore because of his weird obsession and ruin their fun. Don't help when L. Ryan treats Sky haters like they are bad guys situations, ignoring the facts because of his weird obsession boner Sky, who treats her like she's in real life people and loses his shit when someone hates Sky alongside Boomboxer. I'm pretty convinced that Bonham at Flash Lion stands treat their beloved characters as gods and are obsessed with cringeworthy crossover ships between them that make little to no sense. At that time, it seemed a lot of people hated Sky because of his weird obsession and shit, which I don't blame them for who got tired of him and viewed Sky as the second coming of Jesus nonsense. I don't like Sky either, because she is boring, cringe, cliches, and whiny as hell, just like Dave. No, not to mention, he is the guy who made timeout videos with the reaction of grounded videos and some tail copy of the nanny series or something. So that pretty much I got nothing else to say about him. Trent Morrison is a sick pervert who makes fucked up videos with the fetish he has with underage characters and users on there. He tends to play the victim cards and throw him out a pedo to avoid backlashes and get away with his sorry ass and get messy when someone pins on him. He even stalks one of my friends and desperately tries to get his friends back after all the shit he has done. Whenever someone calls him out, Trent part back with mindless insult, victim playing and sends his white knight to go after someone, us showing he is not taking criticism in the slightest. I have no word about him further than I have to recall. And in S. Thomas, Akalo Kitty Spy Patropolis, I haven't seen her in a long time. But let's say she treats her friends like shit for no reason, sexually assaults her ex-friends the colossal bee, although he never liked her from the start and knows who she is, so he pretends to be her friends, Astro Inkling 45, and Ellie Glamorous. And she's a logger and long slum and child who claims he is against opinion bashing, but when someone expresses a positive opinion in Courtney from Total Drama, she goes after shit and forces them to start dating on her pure-hearted. She may not be go animator she used to be, but goddamn, 
the more in Thomas's sins come to light and inconsistent she become, after I found what she did to them. And I'm glad she's not around, not counting her fake account that someone used for trolls or something. So, if anything, Lion stands are extremely dangerous those who never take criticism, full-blown criminal apologists who defend their beloved users and their actions, and hologerish. We throwing criminal cards in generic terms and blaming them for making their beloved look bad despite their logging. Let's not forget about cartoon police groups. There are EGCP, Aka Video Game Cartoon Police, Ed, Aka Everyday Cartoon Police, and DCP, Aka Night Day Cartoon Police, and all that. I can't even look at bullshitting police groups that are filled with raging kids, sedated cartoons, as it's dire situations, troll feeding, and blah blah blah. You get my point that any cartoon police group is fucking futile, useless, and pointless. Not when they take you TTP, which stands for you to troll police too seriously and wastes time to give them a lot of attention and troll feeding. I would even imagine people stick to usernames with typical police groups in 2022. Or, in other words, 2020. The way people have to stick to usernames with useless police groups day in. Sheesh, if I were them, I would stick to my usernames what I wanted with no generic usernames and no putting cartoon police group bullshit. Because cartoon police groups are not it, and it's getting old, as shit. So their lion community is a butt for raging monkey who couldn't handle it and whines too much whenever they don't with their opinion, playing the victim cards, and any kind of shit. Jeez, that shit is way too long for talking shit about the violent community and pointing out why that shit is so toxic nowadays. So, safe to say I'll end it here due to painfully how long I have been making videos. I'm glad this video is finally over. To make it quick, I have final thoughts on violent, grounded videos, and any kind of shit. Viand has been going downhill since I done it, 2012, I guess. But Viand has lost causes now, no thanks to grounded videos, assault and punishment videos, terrible fan-made movies with cluster plot holes that are never explained. Bash on harmless staff, treats preschools, unlikable, memes and villains characters as they spawn off Satan, and the stuff goes on. And here is the main reason why Lion exists to make grounded videos purposes with a pale copy of Family Guy looking and constantly copying and pasting from other people's works given they ran out of an idea and stopped being funny and exciting since. So, I'm very comfortable to say that going at Flash Lion was dragged into this mess due to the community filled with raging kids and overgrown teenagers and adults who get messy when someone criticizes them and blocks them out of the blue. Besides, preschool characters like Kalau get grounded videos are insanely popular now, and they think they find it funny and laugh their ass off when it comes to grounded videos and make parodies for it. So yeah, planned, unoriginal videos, infamous fan-made films, and the community are not it. But as I said earlier, it's so bad, it's funnier than film memes that meet the same fates as the infamous art site. So, that's pretty much I got nothing else to say about more. Goodbye and peace out, everyone. And Plotigan is way more valuable than Go Animate Flash Land.